milk and cookies go hand in hand, but what about beer? Well, today we're pairing both beer and milk with Girl Scout cookies to cover two different palate pleasers. Marley Rawl from the Brewmaster's Tap Room joins me now. I didn't know about this, the, oh, the beer and cookie situation. Definitely. <laughs> You know, it's no more, we're not doing any more of that. We just drink Coors. Uh, we've got a lot of really awesome flavors and beers these days that pair, pair perfectly with all these different flavors that Girl Scouts give us. And you have an event. I do. We, uh, we actually do a ton of fundraising at our tap room. And uh, three years ago, um, when Girl Scout cookie time came and the tap room was open, I said, let's oh, do this. Yeah, this is a troop we've been working with since the beginning. They're an awesome set of girls. One of their uh, big things that they're working on is getting their women in business badges. And so the pictures you're seeing right now, we actually did a fundraiser uh, at the beginning of December and they needed to raise funds uh, to go out and find uh, stuffed animals that they could give to their local fire department. And so they had to set up the event. We worked on logistics together uh, and then they went out and advertised it and people came in and we had a uh, craft fair for the holidays. That is awesome. And so you sell the cookies right there. Yes, yes. So we have our event coming up this Sunday where we're pairing uh, cookies and beer and we'll also of course have milk and cookies for the kiddos or any adults that are <laughs> not really milk. into beer. <laughs> Whatever uh, you want. <laughs> okay, so we'll yeah. tell you all about that and put details on our website, but let's start down here and tell me sure. what you've got. Of course. So I went ahead and picked out some of my favorite breweries for you. Um, and then we also did a really fun pairing of different milk flavors. So first I have up uh, one of my favorite breweries, Skookum. They're out of mm -hmm. Arlington. Uh, Hollis is an amazing brewer uh, and a super fun, awesome person to hang out with when he returns your phone calls. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Hollis, right? get on the horn. So we figured uh, we'd bring uh, a really nice amber from them that will pair really nicely. It's got a multi backbone that goes really well with the toffee flavors. Notice that come into this I cookie. I didn't even know there was a toffee tastic. Yeah, I, we're learning it's something gluten every free, day. It's gluten free too. See? Come on. So how do you eat cookies with beer? Is it a dunk situation no, like milk or is it different? I uh, poured you a little bit there. <laughs> Mini glass. Yes, and you can grab a cookie if you'd like. All and right. what I usually do uh, when I'm pairing is I'll take a nice little bite of the cookie and then I'll take, uh, I'll chew it, enjoy it, get it all in my palate, swallow it, and then I'll take a little sip of the beer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the flavors kind of just mix together in my opinion on your palate. I'm saving some cookie. Well, that's because we have Ooh, some nice phenomenal flesh. malted milk chocolate, some old school malted milk chocolate uh, for your uh, cookie and milk pairing. That's fantastic. Let me just have a little taste. <laughs> Why am I whispering? It's like the calories won't count if I whisper it. I'm pretty sure that's I heard that delicious. somewhere. I definitely heard that somewhere. All right, somewhere. another new cookie. All right, this is a, new, a cookie. new cookie. Yeah, it's called their Lemon Ups, uh, and I love it because they've put some really cool sayings on for the girls. Mm -hmm. um, I'm all about uh, women empowerment, and especially in young girls, we need to get it started as early as possible. You betcha. Uh, so what I did is grab not only the coolest can right now, but also one uh, that has my two favorite breweries on it. So it's Modern Times. They're originally out of San Diego, but uh, we get our beer from their Portland place. And then Virgin Brewing is a brewery out of Carlsbad that I fell in love with and one day I'm gonna get up here. Uh, but they do really, really fun beers uh, packed with a lot of citrusy fruit. I was gonna ask if the citrus mm -hmm. is what drew them together. Yeah. So um, it's nice, it has a little bit of our hops in it. So you're gonna get a little bit of a bite to it that kind of balances that uh, tang from the, I'm sure, very lemony flavor you're about to get. I'm going to, I'm going to give jump. that a try just for fun. All right. Even if that's not the recommended method. Whatever makes you happy. Ooh. No, I think dunking works. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. And then uh, what we chose to do for the kiddos or the kids at heart was a uh, boysenberry. How come it's not a color? So uh, in my baking, I always use. Yeah, all natural mm. flavoring, so there's no um, artificial dyes in them. You don't even need cereal. You just no. Drink that's that. amazing. Yeah, I like the tartness amazing. that plays off of it for, for people. So that's that. Uh, Samoas, which I I think are probably the most popular. Cookie. Ditto. They're definitely my favorite. I may or may not have probably had half a box <laughs> for dinner last night. So if you one know. is good, half a box is great. Right? Yeah, I'm, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. So uh, I picked one of my favorite breweries out of Yakima to bring for you. Uh, it's Valley Brewing. Uh, they did a kettle sour and it's got oh. three different berries in it. 
Um, even if you're not a beer lover, this is kind of a fun genre to go to. Okay. Uh, and so I Plain thought it'd babies. have a nice play of the berries with the caramels with just a touch of the chocolate. Yes. And of course the coconut, because who can't enjoy coconut? Oh, and banana milk. Mm-hmm. And my pinky out like Ooh. that's important. Ooh, that's delicious. Wow. Yeah, it's a nice, it's, it's got a little bit of tartness because it's a kettle sour, it's not ultra tart. Well, go back for seconds. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> nobody saw that. Tagalongs? So Tagalongs, another amazing uh, cookie that I just could also shove in my mouth all day long. Uh, that might have been the We'd other like half of my to, dinner last to night. Eat cookies responsibly, though, mm. right? No, just go along with me here. <laughs> yes, I mean completely, <laughs> very 100%. responsibly. Uh, so I picked a brewery that I'm a super big fan of. They're Matchless. They're out of um, Olympia. Uh, they're actually brewing a beer as we speak for another fundraiser we're doing with them at the end of the month for the Australian wildfires. Oh, good for you guys. Um, yeah, we, that's excellent. We love raising. Last year we raised a little over thirty thousand dollars for different local. Nonprofits. You're a dynamo. We try. What, is, is this strawberry milk? <laughs> yeah, so we did a classic okay. strawberry milk, so you've kind of got the strawberry uh, peanut butter uh, sandwich. You know, mm -hmm. doing nice and classic there. Uh, I'm the, try that. Yes. And the beer that we chose is going to be a nice barrel aged beer. Keep going. Oh, okay. <laughs> Talk on. And then if you feel like you're an adult and you don't mm -hmm. want to hit up the milk aspect, uh, I also brought a really fun uh, non alcoholic version. Uh, of another barrel aged um, product, which is Modern Times barrel aged coffee, where they actually take the coffee beans. No. They throw them in a bourbon barrel, let them sit, get all those nice flavors going on. Is that what on. this is? Uh, that is our regular uh, that's barrel regular? aged from Matchless. Okay. Uh, and but is that's going to be the coffee. That's a cold one? brew. Yep. Let me have just a quick sip because I bet that goes perfectly. Ooh, I endorse that yes. wholeheartedly. I am a big fan of that. And then Thin Mints, which I personally like frozen, but... Yes, my husband as well. There may or may not be a box sitting in our freezer right now waiting for him. <laughs> so, uh, he's been on a trip, He'll so... He'll be very happy. I try, You're I try. You're a good person all I mean, the way I, around. I opened a bar for him, so I kind of feel like <laughs> I'm doing okay in life right now Best for him. wife ever. <laughs> Trying. Uh, so, Thin Mints, I know, are a classic favorite for everybody. It can be hard. Mint is a super overpowering, strong flavor. And so to kind of balance it for everybody to enjoy, uh, I went with a really big barrel-aged beer from Fort George, an amazing brewery. They're out of Astoria, Washington. They've got a phenomenal rep up here that really cares about the community, cares about his beer. And it pairs perfectly, in my opinion, uh, with the mint. So it's got all the great boozy undertones you're looking for, nice and complex and thick, um, that kind of offsets that uh, that it's mint flavor for you. Super minty. Can I share with you? Of course. Which one do you want, the milk or the, uh, the beer? I'll do the beer. I will too. Perfect. Uh, cheers. This has been the best day for me. Right? Shakes and McFlurries and cookies and beer. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm. Once What's you get them kind of mingling together? Yes. Yeah. You need, the, you need those at the same time, I yeah. think. That one's really good. And then uh, the milk we ended up pairing with it is going to be a dark chocolate with a uh, dolce de leche. Are you kidding me? Yes. Yeah, that yes. one and this one are tied for me, but Ooh. that's pretty good. I'm excited about yeah. that. Yeah. That makes me oh, happy. Yummy. Okay. <laughs> if I can pull it together, you can get your very own Girl Scout cookie flight at the Brewmaster's Tap Room in Renton this Sunday. The proceeds go to Troop 41064, who will be on site so you can pick up an extra box or two or ten to take home.